everyone in the previous lecture we discussed about predation parasitism and the next one we discussed about competition uh, today in today's lecture we will discuss about the next interaction which is called commensalism in predation we have seen that the predator is getting benefited and prey is harmed so plus and minus whereas in uh, parasitism also we discussed that the parasite is getting benefited plus for parasite and minus for the host and in the third interaction we discussed competition in competition for both of them it is harmed means for both the species we are giving minus and minus symbol now coming to our today's lecture commensalism in commensalism one is benefited one species is benefited without harming the other one the other one is neither harmed nor benefited such a type of interaction is called commensalism i've drawn some diagrams on the board with the help of diagrams taking these as an examples we'll try to understand the concept in a better manner so we were doing population interactions we finished predation we finished parasitism we finished competition and now we'll discuss about the fourth interaction what is that called it is commensalism now i told in commensalism one species is benefited so plus for one species for the other species it is neither benefited nor harmed so we have to give the symbol zero right so this is uh, these are the symbols we are giving for commensalism now we will take this as examples to study what is commensalism what type of interaction it is now the first and foremost example the classical example for commensalism is the cattle egret and the cattle so this i am taking as a first example it is cattle egret and the cattle now this is a first example we are taking now the cattle when it grazes on the grass following the cattle egrets will go cranes will go so when the cattle when they are feeding on the grass they stir up when they stir up the grass then the insects will flush and they'll come out when the insects are flying flushing out and coming then these uh, insects are eaten by the egrets egrets catches them and it eats it so when we have to see the picture so the here is a cattle cattle is grazing on the grass and the egret knows that when it flushes the grass when it flushes the grass insects will come out so here are the insects the insects are coming out to pick up these insects to pick up these insects egret follows cattle so here if you see for egret it is getting the food by taking the insects but for the cattle neither harm nor benefit so we can tell here the cattle is not deriving any benefit nor harm so cattle we will tell it is zero whereas for egret since it is moving along with this it is getting benefited it's getting the food this is a classical example children for commensalism now coming to the second example the second example is barnacles growing on the back of blue whale or the whale so what is the second example let me write down here the second example is barnacles i'll write down here barnacles growing on whale right so we can see this catalamus small barnacles growing on the whale now when the whale eats for the left out pieces uh, the uh, catalamus or these barnacles will go along with them and they take food from them so whale is not getting any benefit because of this barnacle but barnacle is getting the food so here is barnacle for barnacle it is a positive interaction but for whale this is whale right but for whale neither benefit nor harm so we have to take zero so barnacle is getting food as it is moving with the whale but for whale it is nothing it is neutral so i have given a symbol called zero this is a second example the first example the classical example it is cattle grit and the cattle the second example barnacle growing on the whale the third example let us see here i draw it it is an epiphyte like vanda growing on the trunk of mango plants so this is our third example now what is the third example it is orchid or you can call it as an epiphyte its name is vanda so it is growing 
on the trunk of it's growing on the trunk of mango tree now we know what do you mean by epiphyte epiphytes are those plants which grow on top of the other plants now this is an epiphyte its name is vanda it's growing on top of the trunk of a mango plant now is it taking anything from the mango trunk nothing so its roots are hanging in the air they have velamen roots they take atmospheric moisture it's just sitting on top of the mango tree to take the sunlight it is green it can do photosynthesis it can prepare its own food for that it needs sunlight for sunlight so uh, it will be canopied if it grows at the bottom so that's why it goes and climbs on the type of on the top of the trunk so orchids like uh, epiphytes like vanda growing on top of a mango tree is also an example of commensalism here who is benefited for whom it is neutral for vanda this is a vanda plant vanda is benefited right but whereas for mango tree neither benefit nor harm it is zero this is the fourth example now coming to the fifth example this is sea anemone and it is hermit crab i'll write down here this is our fourth example this is sea anemone and hermit crab this is hermit crab sea anemone and hermit crabs association the hermit crab it picks the sea anemone and it moves along with it so this hermit crab wherever it goes whatever it eats so little bit of pieces the uh, the sea anemone can get it so sea anemone is getting benefited by the hermit crab so hermit crab doesn't derive any benefit but it is moving the sea anemone sea anemone is sessile it cannot move but because it is in touch with the hermit crab it can move from one place to another place that is the benefit and the other benefit is it can take the bits of food from the hermit crab also means for sea anemone the interaction is fetching and for hermit crab it is neither beneficial nor harmful means it is neutral this is a next example next example is our fifth example here so it is pilot fish and sucker fish with the sharks so let us write down this is pilot fish and sucker fish will go along with whales or sharks now this is shark and this is pilot fish or sucker fish it is pilot fish or sucker fish now this pilot fish and sucker fish follow the sharks when the shark is eating that flesh or little bit of meat or blood whatever it comes so these pilot fish and shark, uh, sucker fish they take the food from the shark that means for shark there is no uh, benefit from these two but these two are benefited in association with the shark so for shark we will give zero symbol but for pilot fish and sucker fish they are getting their food from the shark so means so one is benefited the other one is zero so the interaction goes like commensalism one more example is sea anemone with clone fish right so here you can see these are sea anemones i'll write down this is our sixth example for commensalism what is that sea anemone sea anemone has stinking tentacles it has stinking tentacles now because of this thinking tentacles predators will not come near to sea anemone and clone fish what is this it is nemo right so there's a cartoon movie disney movie about this finding nemo picture is there so it is called clone fish so this clone fish takes the advantage of the stinking tentacles of the sea anemone makes it as a home and hides inside the sea anemone so that the predator cannot find it cannot eat it so sea anemone with clone fish sea anemone with clone fish right so this is one more association now for sea anemone it is zero it is not deriving any benefit but the clone fish is escaping from the predator so here we can give plus symbol so this is our sixth example and here is our seventh example the seventh example is crocodile and plover plover is a bird and crocodile now crocodile it's a carnivorous animal it eats flesh now in its mouth it has blood now to suck that blood this is a leech to suck the blood leeches will go crocodile will open its mouth and it sleep so when the leech is inside the 
bird plover can go and it takes the leech that means here the crocodile is not getting any benefit so for crocodile we can give zero neither benefit nor harm but the plover is getting the food right for this it is plus students all these are examples of commensalism what is commensalism commensalism is a type of population interaction where one species is benefited without harming or without giving benefit to the other species one species getting benefited so that's why we took plus symbol other species neither benefited nor harmed for that we have taken a zero symbol it is neutral so i listed altogether seven examples here to understand commensalism in a better manner so what are the seven examples the first example the classical example let me write down here so this is the classical example this is a classical classical example for commensalism so it is with the cattle egret and the cattle so cattle will not get any benefit but the egret bird gets the benefit next one is barnacles growing on top of the whales barnacles will get benefited but the whale will not get any benefit the third example is epiphyte vanda growing on top of a mango tree so the epiphyte when it growing it's growing on the top of a mango tree it can take its sunlight but for mango tree no benefit no harm the next one is sea anemone with hermit crab sea anemone moves along with the hermit crab is fixing the sea anemone on its shell so here is the shell it is fixing on the shell and it is moving the sea anemone from one place to another place so when it's it's changing its place also and whatever it eats the pieces this can also connect so sea anemone positive interaction hermit crab zero interaction neutral interaction and pilot fish and sucker fish they feed upon the pieces of the shark so pilot fish and sucker fish will get benefited where a shark no benefit right then the next one is sea anemone and the stinking tentacles sea anemone have stinking tentacles so predator will not prefer to come towards the stinking tentacles clone fish will take the advantage and it hides inside making it as a house next example what you have seen is plover and the crocodile so plover the crocodile it feeds on the carnivores uh, this things it has meat and it has uh, blood in its mouth to take that blood leech will go and when it opens the mouth the plover when the crocodile is sleeping the plover goes and picks up the leeches so plover is getting benefited neutral interaction for lions so if you have to see some more examples you can write jackals also will follow lions and tigers in the forest let us write on that also as a commensalism so what is that we can write jackals will follow will follow lions and tigers and lions for the bits of meat for the bits of meat tiger uh, tiger and lion will hunt they will kill the prey they will eat it and after their tummy is full they move off and all those pieces are eaten by jackal this is also an example jackal is getting the food but for lion it is zero then one more thing we can tell lions on the tropical rainforest on tropical rainforest what are lions lions are the hanging plants which grow on top of the trunks when they hang on top of the trunks so they can get enough sunlight and all they get support so lions are getting benefited in association with the tall trees in the tropical rainforest to take proper sunlight so all these are interactions of commensalism so we finished commensalism let's go to amensalism altogether nine functions we have seen nine examples we have seen for commensalism and commensalism and interaction where one is benefited other one is neutral now let's go to another interaction that is amensalism now these are very interesting to understand and these are important in the point of neat also so you can easily score marks if you remember what is the interaction with few examples right sea anemone and hermit crab once came in the neat examination and sea anemone with the clone fish also came in the neat examination which type of association is it they will ask you so both of them they come under commensalism only so commensalism means what is that interaction so what symbols do we give for one we will give plus for the other one we will give neutral so we will give zero now the next interaction is amensalism the fifth interaction is amensalism now what is amensalism it is a interaction where one species will be harmed 
amenalism interaction where one species will be harmed without causing any impact on the other species means for amenalism since one species is harmed give the symbol minus and for the other one so no benefit no harm so take zero so amenalism is a type of population interaction where one species is harmed for the other species no benefit if we have to see the examples smoother crops we will tell barley is a smoother crop sorghum is a smoother crop sunflower is a smoother crop smoother crops like barley sunflower and sorghum they will not allow weeds to grow nearby by secreting some yellow chemical so it's good for the farmer so they did, they did not remove weeds and all they did not add weed sites to kill them so means they secrete chemicals and they are showing negative impact for yellow chemicals a negative impact for weeds that's the first example let us write down the first example for amenalism it is the smoother crops what are the examples of smoother crops i have given barley as an example we can take sunflower as an example right so barley sunflower and sorghum will not allow the weeds to grow will not allow weeds to grow how are they not allowing weeds to grow by secreting yellow chemicals dif yellow means different different chemicals right so means for that weed it is zero right for the weed it is sorry for the weed it is getting harmed it is minus but for barley sunflower sorghum so there is neither benefit nor harm so it is zero zero we can give for the plant and minus we can give for the weed because weed growth is getting inhibited now next example if we see the second example is black walnut tree so the scientific name of black walnut is juglans nigra j u g l a n s nigra will secrete a chemical called juglone what does it secretes it secretes a chemical what is the name of the chemical called juglone what will this juglone do it will inhibit the growth of apple and tomato plants near the black walnut which inhibits the growth of it inhibits the growth of apple trees and tomato plants okay so means for apple and tomato it is negative interaction but for this walnut nothing will happen zero it is zero so here is our second example the first example we talked about smoother crops like barley sunflower and uh, sorghum so they secrete yellow chemicals which inhibit the growth of the weed the second example we talked about black walnut black walnut will secrete a chemical called juglone which inhibits the growth of apple and tomato third example we can take marigold marigold is called tegetus now this marigold tegetus it secrete chemical toxins which will not allow the soil nematodes to grow in the surrounding area so marigold what does it secrete it secretes toxic chemicals so which will not allow which will not allow growth of soil nematodes so for nematode it is minus but for marigold it is zero then a classical example of amenalism is penicillium notatum will inhibit the growth of a bacteria what is that called staphylococcus aureus right so we can tell penicillium penicillium notatum it's a mold right it's a fungus penicillium notatum it's a fungus from penicillium notatum only alexander fleming has isolated the first antibiotic the wonder drug which is penicillin which is a broad spectral antibiotic it's an accidental discovery so penicillium notatum what it will do penicillium notatum will inhibit the growth of bacterial colonies will inhibit the growth of bacterial colonies 
what is the name of the bacterial colony which it has inhibited okay it is staphylococcus staphylococcus aureus so staphylococcus aureus colonies are inhibited in the presence of pencillium notatum for staphylococcus it is minus for pencillium it is zero so children all these are examples of amensalism in today's lecture we discussed about commensalism and amensalism commensalism plus and zero amensalism minus and zero some eight or nine examples with pictures we detailedly studied about commensalism I have given three examples, four examples for amensalism. One example, the smoother crops secrete chemicals to kill the weeds. That's the first example. Black walnut secretes juglone, which inhibits apple and tomato. Second example, marigold will secrete chemicals, which inhibit the growth of soil nematode. Third example, Pencillium notatum fungus, if it is there, it produces penicillin antibiotic and that antibiotic, it is antibacterial, it not allow the bacterial colonies to grow. So, bacterial colonies are not growing. So, minus for bacteria, penicillium notatum, so it is neither plus nor uh, minus, it is zero. Okay, hope you are understanding the concepts in a better manner which will help you to crack neat with a very good score, right? So if you like the content, if you like the lectures, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.